Thank you, Julius. Thank you, everybody. He did not tell the truth. I am not the producer. I am one of three producers, myself along with Doug Morris and the man himself, Mr. Barry Gordy, produced this show. Don't worry, if you play your cards right, you will see him dance. <laughs> um, I think you saw tonight, this is not only a story about America, this is a story about the world that is timeless. How music can transform social issues so that people can start dancing, moving together, building families together, and make it a safer, more beautiful place. And the person who helped tell this story who pulled it out of Mr. Gordy and this wonderful family up here, our director, Mr. Charles Randolph Wright. Thank you. It's so incredible to be in here because years ago when I lived in LA, I could only afford up there. So it's amazing to be up here. So these amazing people behind us, I mean, wow. These actors, tremendous. They've been touring all over the country, yes, yes. And we think right now, as Kevin said, when you hear the words of what's going on, it's astounding that 40 years later, we're dealing with these same issues and we're dealing with the same things, but the way we have to do it is through art because art heals. Art changes. And the people you see up here, these incredible musicians, the crew, all of this, they're our ambassadors to help change, to help change things, to change this world, because we have to. And to see these people who are so young doing it, yes. Motown is about dreams and about dreams coming true. And it's amazing because all of us have these dreams and it's astounding when you get to make them come true. And this all happened because of one man's vision, one man's dream, and he dreamt really big. He never stopped, he never gave up. Working with him for the past five years has been life-changing, the most amazing time of my life. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, the Barry Gordy Jr. Come here. Say something black. <laughs> Thanks, thank you all for coming out. Thank you for making my dreams come true. And, but the one thing that I really want to say tonight is I want to thank the most incredible person in the world. I dedicate, dedicate this whole show to the activists that you saw coming into my life over 40 years ago. Her name is Edna Anderson. Yes. So I dedicate everything to her because without her, we wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be here. And it's, so thank you, Edna. I love you and everything. That's it. I mean, that's it for me. That was my big deal. Of course, I want to thank the Nederlanders, yeah. who, who, when we first did our, I think Jimmy and his father is, is here. They're both here tonight. And without them first seeing the show, young, young Jimmy saw the show in New York with a bunch of theater owners. And while they were telling me that I should um, how was I going to come to broad? How was I going to Broadway eyes Motown? And um, and I told them all. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to Broadway eyes Motown. I'm going to bring Motown to Broadway. Yeah. And little Jimmy and I were there, and he was crying, and I was crying because we're both from Detroit. 
So I, I want to thank them very much because we're playing in all the New Zealand theaters in the world because we're leaving here, we're going to Japan, China, and to um, London. London. That's where we're going first, London, and here. And I want to thank this wonderful cast who I've worked with and I'm falling in love with all of them. <laughs> the girls. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Eskada. Just, just kidding, kidding. Billy Davis. Okay, that's it. We also want to thank our choreographers, Patty and Warren, right here. Yes. Yes. And there's so many people out there who are part of the Motown family who helped create this. You are the reason why we do this. We stand on your shoulders. We thank you so very much, all of you who are out there, the Motown family, thank you. And now, Stevie Wonder, are you gonna take this home for us? Okay. All right, everybody. Now it's time to let your hair down. If you can't let it down, well, take it off, take it off. Looking back on when I was a little nappy-headed boy. What's up, Christmas? What would be my time? Yeah, yeah. Even though we sometimes could not get a thing, oh, we were happy when the joy of the day would bring. Yeah, yeah. I wish those things were. Why did those days, 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 and the joy come on and come back? Oh, Lord, why did those days? So I love them so. Hey, 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 yeah. 